Hey there, I'm going to start a new series on strumming for the acoustic guitar. It's going to start out very basic. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to put um, kind of a strum along with Tom. I'm going to give you some different, on this video, particularly simple grooves. We're going to talk about syncopated and simple grooves in another video. But in this video, we're going to stick to very simple concepts, understanding um, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, things like that. Okay, uh, first things first, This the guitar is a Martin. It's an old... Martin, um, doesn't even have Martin on the headstock, that's how old it is. It's a 1924 uh, 028 Koa, very cracked, you can see it's very old. And uh, I love it, it's a great little strummer, uh, it has a great kind of a, a warm tone to it, I really like that, so perfect for this video. Um, I'm using a, what for me is a thin pick, but it's actually a Dunlop, uh, a Dunlop nylon pick, USA nylon one millimeter. Uh, you could use a thinner pick than that, but I would suggest using, when we're doing the strumming um, lesson, I would suggest using a thinner pick. Um, one, the main reason is that with a thicker pick, if you're holding it too tight, you're going to snag the strings like a fish hook. Um, and so two things you want, I, 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 I like using a thinner pick for strumming and I also hold it very loosely. So if you were to be here with me now and I would say, hey, take this pick out of my hand, you would have no problem because I'm holding it very loosely. You could just grab it right out of my hand. Now, if I was soloing, um, not only am I holding it loosely, I'm also exposing quite a bit of the pick. I'm not choking down on the pick. Um, so I'm, I'm just like that much pick is exposed. And then, but if I was soloing, then I would choke down on it, use very little pick and create what would be, because I'm choking down on it so much, it would create more of a more of a hard, heavy pick feel. So, okay, now, we're gonna talk about three things. Uh, we're gonna talk about quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. And when you hear a, a musician, a band count off one, two, three, four, they're counting off quarter notes. Um, I've got a metronome, I would suggest getting a metronome. You can get the old kind that go tick-tock like this. Uh, you can get one of these. I'll put some links to this one below and um, also cheaper ones because I think this one's, uh, I think, 50 bucks or something. So this is a Boss Dr. B DB60. Um, and so basically, I bet it set at 100 quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Those are quarter notes. So what I want to do is I just want to take, let's take an E chord. And the reason I want to use an E chord is because I, I want to have all six strings in play. I don't want you to have to think about moderating your right hand to only play five strings or only play four strings. So we're just going to bang out some six string chords. We're going to do E and we're going to do G and E minor. Okay? So let's, we're just going to do E until you're going to get tired of hearing an E chord. I apologize. But maybe every now and then I may suss it. I may add my pinky here and make it an E sus just so we're not going insane, <laughs> okay? But um, if you want, you can strum along with me right now, but this is gonna be quarter notes at 100. 100 beats per minute, BPM. Three, four. Okay, now, I want you to notice something. Every quarter note, you're going down, right? That's a downstroke. In order to do another downstroke, we're not doing a Pete Townsend windmill where we're going all the way around and we're only doing downstrokes. <laughs> that would be, I should do a video of just that, that'd be hilarious. But no, uh, we're actually coming back up, so we have upstrokes. The ups are coming on the eighth note, on the end of each one of those beats. So we have one, two, three, four, but in between we have one and two and three and four and, but we're not making contact. So you're not hearing the eighth notes. So watch this, I'm gonna make contact. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the metronome again. Again, eight, uh, 100 BPM. And I'm gonna start with quarter notes. And then I'm gonna add the eighth notes. Now, I want you to notice where my arm, I'm treating my arm like it is a metronome. You know, like the kind that go like this. I want you to think of your arm as a metronome. You need to keep it moving. Really not gonna come into play on this video, but when we get to syncopated videos, you're going to find that you want to only move your arm when you're making contact with the strings, and that's going to mess you up. So this way, um, in fact, we'll, I'll show you an example of that even with a simple strumming pattern. But this, this way, I'm going to go 
quarter notes, and then I'm going to add the eighth note in there. Two, three, four. actually has, I can add in the eighth note there. So you can make sure that your eighth notes are even. Turn this off because it's annoying me. Now we're going to do eighth notes again, one and two and three and four, and but this time we're going to do it with all down strokes. Okay, so we're going to go like that. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three. I'll play it with a metronome, and there's a reason we're going to do this. For one thing, that's a more powerful eighth note. See, this is kind of a light and flighty eighth note. Now, if I play all downstroke eighth notes, it's going to be more, more dry, more of a rock kind of feel, a little more serious. I'm very serious right now. I'm talking to you like you're six-year-olds. <laughs> and I know I have no six-year-old viewers. I can see the analytics. Okay, so anyway, so I'm going to put this on again. I'm going to do uh, eighth notes, all downstrokes, two, three, and four in. This is probably as advanced we're, as we're going to get in this video. But now that we're doing all the eighth notes down, okay, again, we're not doing the Pete Townsend windmill thing where we're coming around and we're only doing downstrokes. In between those eighth notes, we're playing an upstroke. So when we play that upstroke, now we're going to make contact with the strings. So the again, the downstroke eighth notes sound like this. to take um, your metronome speed down. But here, I'm going to play it with the metronome. I've got eighth notes. I can add sixteenth notes in here, too. Hear it? There you go. Now we just got quarters again. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to uh, the G and E minor. So we're gonna do G, and what I wanna do is I wanna do eighth notes, uh, a measure of eighth notes. So we're gonna one and two and three and four and of G, and then go to the E minor. So really, this video is about the right hand, okay? It's about the right hand, it's not about the left hand, but you gotta get them to work together. So we're gonna do a simple change, G to E minor, it the way I'm figuring it. Um, and then from there, uh, we'll, we'll maybe uh, make the strumming pattern a little bit more complex, but we're not going to go to syncopate. We're just going to go stick with simple patterns, and I'll talk about that later. Okay, here's the click again. Uh, eighth notes, down, up, down, up. Now, I'm going 
going to change the pattern. We're going to do a pattern that is going to be um, a uh, two quarters and and four eighth notes. Okay, and that's I'm going to play G chord. I'm just going to stay on G chord for now. And that sounds like this: one, two. or 16s, okay? So it's one. In fact, I can think of a couple songs that use that groove. And, and that's something else I'm going to do. I'm, part of the series is I'm going to teach the grooves of, of some of the best acoustic songs in the past. Um, I'm just going to pick out some of my favorite grooves and I'm going to teach them to you. So that way, you'll have a lot of grooves. So that, that's one of the biggest problems with the amateur, amateur acoustic guitarist is that they don't, they kind of tend to do the same groove on every song. Oh, you want another song? Okay, I'll do this song. I'll go, you know, it's the same groove. And so it gets a little bit boring to listen to and to play. So the idea with a, being an acoustic guitarist is to have as many grooves as you can um, as many patterns with your right hand as you can get down and that gives you a lot of versatility and you can play a lot more songs that way and make songs more interesting that way. All the great players have lots of lots of ammunition on the right hand, okay? So, um, so let's go back to that uh, pattern of two quarters and four eighth notes. It sounds like this. quarter, four eighths and a quarter, and it would sound like this. Okay, or I could do a quarter and six eighths, as long as it all adds up to a whole. That's what you'll notice. Four quarters is a whole. Eight eighths is a, is a whole. Sixteen sixteenths is a whole. Um, so we're trying to add up to one with our, with our, uh, the, the, uh, numerical value of our strums, okay? So here's a quarter and six eighths. Okay, you might play that like... And roll that first eighth note on beat two. One. When you start mixing it up, you can immediately start to have some different patterns when you just do all the mathematical variations. I could do six eighth notes and one quarter note, sound like this. Now, I'm not, I can't think of any song that sounds like that, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. We can throw some sixteenths in there. I could do uh, eighths. So I forgot to mention, when you're counting eighths, you're counting one and two and three and four. And when you're, one way to count sixteenths is one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. There's sixteen sixteenth notes. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a. Now you don't need to really do that while you're strumming. I think that's just too many things. You might fall off your chair or something. Uh, but just keep it real simple, but try to get those metronome really really try to if you can get a metronome it would be great um, uh, and if you can play along with that every time you're practicing your strumming grooves and then you can chart your progress too you might have to slow down below 100 you might have to go to 80 or 60 even to be able to do some of the 16th note patterns um, but then you can as you're getting better you can say oh you know I just, I'm, at, I'm at 102 now and 104 and 103 say I would do the exact same thing when I was working on my Segovia scales for classical guitar you know, it was, it was a huge milestone. Every two weeks I would be able to play them, you know, 2 p.m. faster than I did the week, two weeks before. So that's always a, uh, you know, it's always encouraging to see progress in our playing. So anyway, uh, I hope you're doing well. Stick around. I'm going to do some strumming grooves for you. And, um, and we'll, I'll, I'll, uh, you could just strum along with Tom. Okay? God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.
Okay, so but let's get to some simple patterns and I'll just play them for a little while. In fact, I'll use the metronome. Um, I'm gonna aim it towards me. We're gonna be at 100 beats per minute. And let's just start with an E major chord and then go, well, let's just stay with E major, okay? So we're gonna play one, two, three, and four and. One, two, and three, and four, and so one, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Let's do um, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and let's go to the G chord for that, to, just for a change of pace. One, two, kind of move that over a beat and we'll do one and two, three and four. Down, up, down, down, up, down. for a second we're gonna do the other pattern the the uh, we'll do the first one we did which was one, two, three, and four, and. but this time we're gonna do it with all downstrokes okay so we're gonna play the eighth notes with downstrokes it's gonna sound like this now you'll notice I'm kind of even in between the two downstrokes at the front I'm keeping my hand bouncing a little bit okay um, that's one of the things we'll talk about with syncopated rhythms. You gotta keep your hand moving. So if I'm gonna go to a, an eighth note feel with my right hand, where I'm doing downstrokes on the eighth notes, I wanna keep that going, even though it's, so I don't wanna go one, two. See, I'm kinda doing a bounce on the end of one and the end of two, but I'm not hitting the string, so it's one, moving just like I said before a metronome keeps moving it's very important that you keep your arm moving it, if you don't um, it can look really stiff now looking is looking stiff is not important but if it looks stiff it probably feels stiff and it'll sound stiff um, it'll sound uh, inconsistent so you got to keep that keep that right hand moving you look at guitar players and generally their arm is moving maybe if you look at some old Elvis uh, movie and you see his arm moving, he'll only move when he's hitting the strings, like he'll go. But that just feels weird, it's hard to keep track of where you are on the beat, and it's just not proper, it's not the way it should be done, it should be... segment of play along with Tom and uh, strum along with Tom and we're going to do more. Um, I've got more videos coming on this subject. It's going to be kind of a new, a new series and I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.